Don't be nervous. I've done hundreds of these. I'm not afraid of the procedure. I just hope it works. That's up to you. Okay. Here we go. You look like you could use a cup of licorice tea. <laughs> That's my favorite. How did you know? I'm a bartender. I'm supposed to. <laughs> you know, you seem really familiar. Like maybe someone from another lifetime. Yeah, uh, I've certainly put in my years. <laughs> hey, aren't you Lucy Borden? Yes, yes I am. I saw Breath of Night 20 times. Best film of 1982. When you were shot in that drug bus, I lost my mind. I mean, I totally forgot I was watching a movie. Well, it's always nice to be a fan. Listen, what is this place? I think of it as a permanent happy hour. Where were you before you came here? I was, I was going in for surgery. It, it was about to begin. Or maybe it did. And then I was here. Is this the afterlife? Did I die? You're not dead. You're just here. Welcome. It's nice to meet you, Lucy. <laughs> did your customer decide yet? He's narrowed it down to Bia. Then I'm impressed. Good work. Good work? He's been here for hours. How hard is it to choose a drink? The men of that era, every choice has a philosophical purpose. He's getting close. I just have to be patient. What are you doing? Do you believe in magic? Well, yes, yeah, some forms of it. With the aid of my special talents, these olives are going to be transformed into something stupendous. Yeah, but magic can only reveal, not transform. <laughs> she got you. Now I know where I am. This is the cosmic waiting room. I'm in my surgery right now. But my soul is waiting here. For what? For everything. All that I worked for my entire life for transformation. So, I'm gonna have all the answers. What answers? I've seen this thing before, but well, it's different with her. Different how? She's not really in this state. Huh? There's something very odd about this one, Doug. And I should look into it then? As soon as possible. Go. Try the bathroom. All right. Mr. Jones. Doug Jones. Good. You're all prepped. Shall we get started? I'm not sure I need this. Can we just talk about it? You're resisting. 
I get that. I need you to resist the resistance. Release your fear. Let it go, Doug. I I'm actually feeling much better. What will happen is, I'll remove the skin, which exposes the dura mater. Using a trephin, I'll penetrate the skull and excise a circular potion in your skull's brain. As your brain is exposed to the air, your third eye will be opened. And all will be revealed. I have to go to the bathroom. You paid some crazy nutter to drill a hole in your head? What's wrong with you? I don't like your toe. I don't like your doctor. And I don't like wasting time. So this procedure you're having done... It's called trepanation. It's actually a timeless form of brain surgery. You see, it's believed that by drilling a hole into the skull, evil spirits or blockages are released. Wow, that, that, that sounds so primitive. Well, did you know children have a higher state of consciousness? It's because their skulls haven't closed yet. And that's why people undergo trepanation, to open the third eye so they can reach that higher state. <laughs> so you have any movies coming up? She didn't understand. Look, I know it seems extreme, but it isn't. Especially not for someone like me, someone who's been on a path to enlightenment most of her life. But how does that lead to you drilling a hole in your head? There is a difference between understanding enlightenment and actually experiencing it. And that's what the trepanation will give me. It will give me that final, absolute experience. I always thought the point of enlightenment was the journey, not the destination. Oh, gosh, the journey is certainly a part of it. But the further along one gets, the closer one gets to knowing it. And I'm so close now. And if you get it, what then? Nirvana. A constant state of peace. No highs, no lows. That's living. <laughs> Life is about moving to a higher spiritual level. And yet here you are, which means you're at a crossroads. If you don't mind, uh, I'd like to get back to my procedure. Don't you want to know what you're missing in life? You must have regrets. Mm. No, I have no regrets. My life, my past, is as it should be. Well, instead of looking backward, why don't we look forward? Movie fans from around the world were sad to hear of the untimely, shocking death of beloved actress Lucy Borden due to complications from a controversial procedure called trepanation. She will be missed. That clear things up for you? Well, I may die sooner. But the trepanation takes me to a higher spiritual level. So, fellas, I think I'll get back to my surgery. How's she doing? Pretty calm for someone who just hurt her in obituary. She seems so aware of things. Well, things aren't always what they seem. She might be hiding something much deeper. Maybe you could be revealed with a game. What she chooses might be illuminating. Since you're stuck here, would you like to play a card game? Poker, gin rummy? Oh. What about go? I don't know that one. I do. <laughs> My father taught me how to play, and I taught my son Troy. We always played when I was on location. Now, when it's your turn, you'll place your stones on the grid lines just like this. Now, the object of the game is to secure more of the board than your opponent. If you surround an opponent's stone, you capture it. Seems simple enough. Well, that's the beauty of golf. So, how does your son Troy feel about your path? Well, the quest for enlightenment isn't exactly a group activity. Now, you guys keep trying to frame it as something evil, but it isn't. He doesn't approve, I take it. 
Well, I don't know if he does or not. I haven't spoken to him in quite some time. So you don't miss your son? My relationship with my son is none of your business. I'm not so sure about that. <laughs> Died just minutes after being admitted to the hospital. The victim, Troy Wallace, was the son of actress Lucy Borden. Oh my God! It's Troy! <laughs> Maybe this whole thing is about the son. You can't make that determination without talking to him. Right. Sweet ride. Six speed, 9,000 RPM. This thing is bitching. You buying? Nah, oh, man. Just checking it out. You right? He used to. What do you want? Nothing. I just, um... You know, I could find some, uh... You looking to score? Maybe. You got money? Oh. Okay. Forget the drugs. Let's buy you something way, way more intense. <laughs> What happened to you? Troy and I just went elevator surfing. That sounds dangerous. No, not at all. We just stopped an elevator between floors, popped the shaft, and climbed on top of it. Hey, my son, he's alive? I don't understand. Where were you just now? In another timeline. And you let my son climb on top of an elevator? I couldn't stop him. I guess Troy has chosen his own path. <laughs> That's convenient. Your future's predetermined, so you're not responsible for anything. Hmm? Nice way to bury your guilt. You, you have no right to talk to me like that. Oh, sweetheart, I have every right. You have been to every self-help clinic, every phony guru from here to Bombay, and they lead you down a path with one hand while they take your money with the other. It's an industry, Lucy. And you, <laughs> you're its cash cow. Ooh. What's wrong? It's Lucy. She's doing this. How? She's so in touch with her past lives, they're all getting tangled in the branches. I don't get it. Why are we so bent on helping someone who doesn't want to help herself? That's our job, Doug. Yeah. And Troy's her son. And he's going to die if we don't do something. That's not the way we do things. Well, maybe things need to change. Where are you going? Where I'm needed. Met her in the first grade at our school. Hello, Doug. Eyes and Auburn hair. So what'd you think of the surface? Bitchin', right? Yeah. Yeah, that's right. Hey, you dropped this in there. Oh. Thanks. It's a piece from Go, right? Yeah. Yeah, you, you play? <laughs> Not really. We still on for tonight? No. It's only shutting down early. Troy, are you still tagging the courthouse or what? Nah. Forget that. It's a change of plans. You've lived many lives before. Yes. Many. They were all seekers. Wanderers. A refugee during the war, a monk, wasn't it? At the turn of the century. How do you know that? Have they been here? To this place? Well, they drifted through. Like that gentleman. But they did not stay. Seekers eventually find what they're looking for. 
I wonder if he was right. Your friend who shouted at me. Did I throw everything away? My son? I looked up and one day he was gone. And I was where I was. Still searching. That's the thing about people who love you. They forgive you. Would you look at that? Where are you going? For a ride. For elevator? Yeah. Bed. Motorcycle. Hey, it's locked. No, relax. Yeah. You're gonna get caught. I know. That is the point. Look, it's about the rush. Your instinct is telling you to bolt, and you have to force yourself to run into the danger. This is crazy. Where's Lucy? She's gone. What happened? I just saw a 20-year-old kid get shot. Why am I here? I tried telling you. You can't manipulate events that way. So she just left without saying anything. Actually, she did. She said Seki. What does that mean? In Go, there's a situation in which neither black nor white wants to move because moving would mean capture. That's Seki. Like a stalemate? What's going to happen to her? Mm. Wonder if the cards might provide a bit more illumination. In this case, Lucy made her choice, and the other branches are no longer possibilities. <laughs> So Lucy's real fulfillment came from giving up her quest to be there for her son. It was the game that turned her. The definition of seke is mutual life. Kind of poetic. Speaking of poetic, magic. Try one. Using the magic of molecular gastronomy, I have taken an olive, broken it down, reassembled it, and shaped it back into an olive. So you made an olive out of an olive. Why would you do that? Because I can. I need an ale. Congratulations. Okay. Well, not quite. He wants to see the food menu. Give me five alts.